South Africa, AXA, to get all its airports off the grid and produce clean energy. The Minister of Transport, Dipur Peters, will officially launch the Kimberley Airport solar plant. The solar energy produced by the plant will be enough to power the airport during daytime. Now, our reporter, Ulrich Hendricks, uh, joins us from Kimberley. He's got the Transport Minister with him this morning. Good morning to you, Ulrich. Just set the scene for us before you talk to the Minister. Hi, uh, good morning, Ivan, and welcome. Quite a wet Kimberley uh, in the Northern Cape. Uh, not the ideal weather uh, when you're launching uh, uh, green energy, uh, solar-powered energy for that matter. But to, um, the, the, the Kimberley Airport is going green today. Um, it will eventually uh, generate 91% of the electricity or daylight electricity need uh, from a solar park, which is about just less than a, a, a kilometer from the main airport. Uh, at the moment, quite a uh, wet and windy uh, day, so it's generating around 12% of the capacity that it can, um, you know, uh, in terms of those uh, green energy needs. But well, like you said earlier, with us we have Transport Minister De Poor Peters uh, with us, who is going to talk to us about um, what is going to... Uh, Minister, um, what does this mean uh, for the industry? This is a very good story for the industry, especially being an airports company, being able to generate power for day consumption so that you can then be able to make sure that we use the ESCOM grid power for the evenings. So it means during the day, the airports company is intending to make it possible that throughout the country they can use the power of the sun that we have to generate power so that they can then have own generation as per the requirement of our energy policy. But it's also very exciting because like we say, it's a good story. It shows that when President Zuma committed in Copenhagen on the occasion of uh, COP16 to the long-term uh, mitigation scenario, we are actually honoring that, doing that which we are saying we will be doing to make it possible that we reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. This is one of the steps that, as the transport sector, we said our companies should focus on. So we are going to make sure that many of the transport uh, companies can be able to generate some of the power that they use f f through solar, through wind and through alternative energy sources. We are very ex excited about the trajectory. Already now this is the second airport that we are launching. We will soon be launching the third one and the others are under construction. So when we say we've got a good story to tell, truly speaking, we put to practice what the ANC says we must be able to do to make it possible that we can r reduce our over-reliance on the grid. So when ESCOM uh, has got power challenges, they can call on the airport's company to uh, uh, give power to, to ESCOM. So the partnership that we will have between AXA and Air ESCOM is going to be strengthened more and more with more of the airports coming on stream. So we are very excited about this. This particular plant is going to generate about 500 kilowatt per uh, a peak and, and, and it's about 13.5 million rand. So it tells you that George is the one that produces 750. We have uh, been able to invest Invest 16 million. The the Uppington one is equally so 13 million. So all this money is an indication of how we invest in power, but we also release the resources to be able to focus on other developments at the airport. We also know that we've got rooftop here at the airport. We can utilize the rooftop also for solar. We will also want to make sure that the water that we use in the in the bathrooms, we can also make sure that we clean it and, and, and reuse it. We will also make sure that we have got uh, solar panels to make sure that the water in the toilets and in the other taps here around the airports are also hot water. So this is just a continuation of the policy of own generation by companies. And the airports company as a state-owned company is leading with the example of making it possible that you can support ESCOM's call for a, a demand side management, you can support the ESCOM's call for reduction of over-reliance on the grid so that they can then be able to deploy the power to major operations that are uh, manufacturing, that are industrializing so that we can create jobs, fight poverty and inequality. 
we have been looking at very small airports, uh, George Airport, Kimberley Airport, and then uh, the next one, of course, uh, Uppington Airport. But I'm thinking about an airport like Oartambu, for example, or Cape Town International. What are the plans there and what are the costs that uh, we're looking at? For Oartambu, we're looking at uh, gas. Because you would know that it is a big airport that would that also has got a challenge in terms of land space. So we would need to look at areas that we would also be having under control. We have also called on the airports company to look at how we can make it possible that the uh, waste from our uh, 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 sewerage system can be used to generate gas. So we're looking at that a particular alternative for uh, an airport like OR Tambo because you would understand with the volumes of people going through there, with the volumes of companies operating there, there is going to be a lot of waste that can be uh, used to it, through a digester and be able to make it possible that we generate the gas. So, OR Tambo, we're looking at gas, and when it is ready, we'll invite the SABC to come and help us tell the good story of how we are as South Africa contributing to reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, but also how we are contributing to making it possible that the next generations and the next generations can be able to experience that which we experience in terms of clean air, in terms of an environment that is well protected. This is part of the sustainable development initiatives that we are talking about. This is part of what Minister Mulewa calls on us as colleagues in Cabinet to make sure that the companies of the state that is under our Okay, can be able to contribute. So we're happy. President Zuma has actually given us the, the direction. He has made the commitment. We are honoring the commitment. We continue with the good story. And today we are here to celebrate with the, the municipality of Kimberley, the airports company, the Kimberley Airport, as well as the province, because this is an investment in the Northern Cape. It's an affirmation of the ability of everything in the Northern Cape to retrofit to solar. So we are saying we are very much excited to for this particular investment is an investment into the future of the airports company but also the future of our children the future of our country the future of the transport sector talking about the northern cape and it's and the way it lends itself to renewable energy uh, we've had a, a lot of, of of big projects there here in the northern cape uh, relating to solar power yes northern cape is actually the mother of solar power so it is actually befitting that we can be talking today about the Kimberley Airport as well as Uppington being the next one that we will be launching. But we also believe that many of the companies that are operating here, including mining houses, need to retrofit. In fact, as a, a, as a, as a province, all our rooftops must be carrying solar water uh, 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 geysers as well as solar panels. In fact, even households in the Northern Cape can be able to generate the little power that they need from from solar. So it is important that we pride ourselves as the Northern Cape people as being a province of the sun. And, and it is important that we utilize it. And I'm happy that the Premier always speaks about being the Queen of the Kalahari. The people of the Kalahari, as men have had added on the resonset, so as Vardier defeated on Sonet and on Gebrek the Sonkrag om electricity to work. That is a good story that we have been doing. Minister, beyond AXA, um, what other sectors in, within the transport sector are you looking at in terms of green renewable energy? We are finalizing what we call the green uh, transport strategy. The green transport strategy speaks to making it possible that vehicles in South Africa, like you have already seen, that we've got uh, companies that have got electric vehicles, and we want to make sure that many of them have got charging stations. I want to also indicate that the Department of Environment Affairs is using green vehicles and electric vehicles as well as ESCOM, and we would want to make sure that we expand that. Right now, we are conscious of the fact that the trans transport sector, especially the, the, um, the, the, the electric vehicles, are still a bit expensive. We are happy for the investment the Department of Science and Technology has done in the uh, a Jewel, which is a prototype of a, an electric vehicle. But we are also working with the taxi industry to look at LPG, which is liquefied petroleum gas or uh, 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 concentrated natural gas, to make it possible that they can then not rely on uh, fuel like petrol and diesel, but rather on 
on gas. We are also looking at others to make it possible that we can invest in this thing. I'm happy to indicate to you that there is a, a test that is being done with using tobacco to produce jet fuel. So that is one of the good stories and many others that are coming. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank that you. was Minister the poor Peters, the Transport Minister, uh, talking about a lot of uh, new in innovations that's coming with regards to renewable yeah. energy. Uh, but it's back to the studio. Yeah. Thank you very much for that update. Very exciting.